This is Luis with CIS Sinks and I'm um, going to show you guys the easiest way to prime any sponge type cartridges. Um, sponge types would include certain HPs uh, and then most or all cannons. So when you guys see the CIS system they're going to come in pedestals as you see it here. And that's pretty much the way we're going to prime them. So let's say your cartridges were in the printer, you got to take them out put them on these pedestals here and then we're going to show you the process right now alright so uh, first thing you want to do is remove the air vent hole or air vent plug here most of the time you should have your air filters already installed so for the most part you could just leave it on what you're going to do is grab a syringe and needle that came in the kit and we're going to go ahead and actually stab it in here and it's going to puncture the rubber piece and it's going to go all the way into the sponge once it touches the sponge, go ahead and draw. I have to go in a little deeper. Alright, I have a lot of resistance right now, but as you can see, the ink's already moving. <clears throat> so basically it's going to fill up the reservoir on the cartridge on the side and it's also going to resaturate the sponges for you guys so I'm still getting a lot of resistance here once you let it go you're going to notice that the sponge itself is saturating all the way down to the bottom all right, so you should do that for every color if it's, you know, for one thing, if this reservoir keeps going empty, then you want to prime it every time. Um, and obviously, if you get a lot of air in the lines, you want to prime it as well. So that's the easiest way you want to do it. Obviously, I set up paper towels here, so I thought it was going to be messy, but it's actually not messy at all. Uh, you still want to wear gloves, though. 